Everyone seems to agree that a better health care system is needed. But how to fix the system has led to some contentious debate among physicians, politicians, and consumers. Hello, I'm Leonard Nimoy. Some feel the medical profession has been slow to embrace technology, but more and more health care providers are recognizing the need for using high-tech advances to improve health care delivery. By using the various applications that are available, hospitals, extended care facilities, and physician practices are banking on less medical errors and improved patient care. In this segment, we'll take a look at how new regulations and technologies are affecting the healthcare industry and more on this edition of The Next Wave. In this segment, we'll continue our discussion on how technology is affecting healthcare by taking a look at another industry concern, which is security. With us is our expert, Dr. Chris Landon. He's director of pediatrics at Ventura County Medical Center, and he's the editorial advisor to Telemedicine Today magazine. Also joining us is Sheila Schweitzer. She's the president and CEO of Presidio a company that specializes in security solutions for healthcare organizations. I want to thank you both for joining us and being with me here today. Uh, Chris, the, the thought of confidential information getting into the wrong hands is a big security issue in the healthcare industry. Why is that? Explain that. Well, I think primarily from an insurance standpoint, uh, way back when, even having asthma on your, as one of your diagnoses meant that you wouldn't be covered for asthma care for the next several years. Now we're looking at diseases like HIV, cancer, and so forth. Uh, we've been helped uh, by the federal government to allow you to uh, have those diagnoses known. I take care of children uh, who are now adults with cystic fibrosis, and a lot of them still aren't telling their workplaces uh, that they have this chronic disease, which can cost $60,000 a year to care for. All right. So, Sheila, is, is, are these security issues the reason that the healthcare industry has hesitated to use the Internet so far? You know, definitely, Leonard. Any organization that that maintains a person's pri private information is held to a level of confidentiality. Healthcare is held to a higher standard than any other industry because a person's health information is the most sensitive information they own. Just like Chris was saying, um, if your credit card is stolen, you have recourse. Mm. You know, you may be out fifty dollars. Uh, if your health information is breached, you have no recourse. If I know something about you, I know it. And so it's critically important. Healthcare has to achieve the sharing of information before they can lower costs, improve quality of care, uh, improve access to caregivers like telemedicine. But to do that, you have to be confident the individuals are who they say they are and that the information and integrity of the data is secure. What, what other issues are at stake beside the insurance issues? Oh, well, there's significant employability, issues. Employability, is that, is that a concern? Uh, employability is a concern. There's issues, there's documented cases of individuals who have lost their children because their ex-spouse found out they have a particular illness. Um, there's employment Explain that. decisions. Explain. What, what, what kind of illness would, would we be talking about here um, that would for, cause a for, loss of, of, of parenting? The particular incident uh, I'm speaking of was documented. An ex-husband became aware through uh, a leak of a physician's information that his ex-wife was being tested for HIV, oh. was found to be HIV positive, and actually was able to remove the children from her custody. How did he get this information? Um, the information was actually um, given out through uh, a billing record that was sent to the wrong address. If, if I'm a company that needs a security solution, why should I go to you, Presidio, to ask you to provide it instead of building it for myself? Well, healthcare is a very complex environment. It's fast-paced. Um, there's the relationship of users to workstations. It's not what's common in the industry. To apply appropriate technologies, it takes very complex and sophisticated um, technologies that have to be implemented inside an environment. 
to do that effectively, an organization uh, would really have to have done the research and understand the technologies as Presidio does. Security is not a core competency of healthcare organizations. So I'm coming to the expert and asking you. So you're really coming to the expert who brings the technology, the policies, the procedures, really solves the business issues. Chris, what effect have some of the the new healthcare mandates and regulations such as HIPAA, uh, what effect have they had on security issues? Tell us what HIPAA is first. Well, that's the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. It's changed everything uh, from when you sign in at your doctor's office, that's against the law now. Uh, the, the patient who follows you should not be able to see your name uh, on that roster. Uh, my residents uh, use Palm Pilots to uh, track their patients. If they lose one in the hall and someone picks it up, that's against the law. For them to exchange information between their Palm Pilots with infrared, that's against the law. For them to lose their patient cards. Why is that infrared exchange against the law? That's exchanging patient information. Uh-huh. And so we're looking for clarification as time goes by, but right now uh, it's, it's, a, it's a black hole. Uh, it's oftentimes uh, one of my nurses might want to see how a niece or nephew is doing the intensive care nursery, and could I just look it up on the computer real quickly and make sure they're okay? That's against the law, and it, it has been for a long time. Are these rules coming into effect because of exper- uh, experience in, in the past about security breaches and people complaining, lawsuits? What's, what's driving this? Well, I think that's, that's part of it. Certainly as a lawyer, if you paid someone in medical records, you could find enough cases to, to uh, keep you going for quite a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, our, insur- our, our entire medical records are blocked. They uh, have alarm systems and so forth. But someone breaking in could walk out with... Uh, Quite a bit of potential bit of information, yeah. So, Sheila, if customers are accessing Presidio services on the internet and the internet connection is lost, how are you prepared for that? The system's been designed to be fully redundant and fail-safe. We understand the the need for healthcare clinicians to have access to information all the time. So that contingency's been built into the system. I see. And and, and Chris, would you say that physicians are reacting well to the new technologies? Is there a sense of security now? Well. Uh, physicians are not early adopters by any means. We've seen lots of devices not work, uh, not benefit our patients, and so we're very slow to adopt. The other thing is the cost, too. The, we expect things to be free. We've been getting things free from drug companies for a long time, and so putting out money for services, uh, we seem to think if we wait long enough, it'll come our way. How about that, Sheila? How do costs uh, figure into your equation? We understand the culture and, and the need for cost things to be cost beneficial in healthcare. We've designed the system so that it is cost effective. And the regulations are pretty severe. Can be as high as $250,000 per incident, plus 10 years in prison for the breach of an individual's uh, private information. Don't so, keep you on your toes. Uh, so in <laughs> reality, uh, a system like ours is not only a necessity, it really is a moral and ethical obligation of health care providers. So you foresee it becoming widespread? Yes, actually, definitely. Right. It's reassuring to know that there are companies out there working to keep personal information confidential. I'd like to thank Sheila Schweitzer and Dr. Chris Landon. I'm Leonard Nimoy. Please join us again to watch the future unfold on the next wave. For more information on the next wave, visit www.nextwavetv.com. A portion of this series is sponsored in part by Lucent Technologies. We make the Internet mobile. www.lucent.com. A portion of this series is sponsored by eBusiness Advisor Magazine and Conference, the guide to success in the new world of eBusiness. www.advisor.com.